Well, all I can tell you is, is that this is one of those hackneyed phrases that really is true. If you want something done right away, contact the St. Vincent de Paul Society. I mean, you know that everywhere in the country, everywhere in most of the world, there are housing problems for the homeless. Well, here's what St. Vincent de Paul did just recently. 2,061 people experiencing homelessness a half year ahead of the housing goal date they were able to rehouse those people, and in part, anyway, thanks to Shannon Clancy, the CEO. How was it done? How is it possible that you were half a year ahead of your goal? Well, probably because they didn't rely on just Shannon Clancy, right? Really, the whole community came together, volunteers, staff, all kinds of community partners, to really focus on what's most important in our fight against homelessness in our community, and that's to get people rehoused. And so uh, we set a goal to rehouse 2,025 people by the year 2025, and we were thrilled to be able to hit that number uh, six months ahead of time. And, and not done either, because we're still going to continue with the community's partnership to do that. And that's a lot of single people, you know, some of our seniors, families with children, all of those people now are in homes, off our streets, and in homes in our community, uh, and living the lives that they were meant to live. And the money that it takes for that kind of housing, all donations? Really, St. Vincent de Paul relies on the generosity of the community. So some of it would be grants from different foundations, donations from private people, community partners, and you're right, it does, you use a lot of volunteer, we use a lot of volunteer hours and help from the community, but it also does take some money, money to help people have that first and last month's rent for their move-in costs and support to be able to provide that help with mapping out a process for people to, to get back to housing. But, but what we learned is that it's possible. And that's probably the most exciting thing of all. When you set a goal like that and you reach it ahead of time, what we see is that we can end people's homelessness. I think sometimes when we see folks around the community, we think it's not possible. People don't want to end their homelessness. They don't want to go inside. But w what we can say now as a community with the help of so many people, it is possible. And we're grateful and we just need to keep doing more of it. So where do the structures themselves come from? The homes, the, the homes that these people right. moved into. So people are really trying to get into affordable uh, apartments mostly that they can afford, and we need more of that in our community. One of the reasons why in, in our transitional housing programs and other things, it takes people a little bit longer now than it used to, not because they're slower, but because often we have to wait to find an apartment that they can, they can afford. If we can do that, we can be really successful. So in our transitional housing programs for seniors and people who are living with disabilities, we have a 95 plus percent success rate. If we help rehouse somebody who has experiences homelessness, lives with us in a transitional a housing program has all the wraparound services that they need, gets help with case management, have all their needs met, we can help them get rehoused. And 95% plus of those folks are still in housing for a year, so a year later. So it works. It really works. And that's why recently, uh, just last week, we opened DePaul Manor that has 100 more beds for people just like that, seniors and vulnerable people in our community who just need a little bit of help, a little bit of wraparound support, and a little bit of time so that they can be rehoused too, and we'll add them to our numbers over the but next there's year. there's still more of them than there are houses or apartments. There's always more, more people, and we see that. We see that in our community, but I think one of the things that we don't often see is that a lot of our homelessness really is related to housing, that people lose their housing because something happens and they, and, or the rent goes up and they can't afford it, and that it's harder to get people back into housing 
when our rents have really grown beyond what people can afford. But so, if anybody can do it, St. Vincent de Paul. And, of course, that means if anybody can do it with help from people like you, it's St. Vincent de Paul. Thank you for all you do. Oh, thank you, Pat. And thank you for being with us.